The new Leatherdale Equine Center at the University of Minnesota is a big upgrade from the old facility, to say the least. The facility itself was actually built back in the 50s for cattle. That cattle facility is nothing more than a memory for horse owners like Chris Rainier, who says she couldn't be happier to bring her animals to the U of M's new horse facility. This is the best. I could not be happier, and I am, I am thrilled to see Monday coming down the pike, and I am thrilled to be able to bring my horse here. Things like underwater treadmills and non-invasive surgery are just a couple of high-tech examples of how the Leatherdale Equine Center will serve its clients. Minnesota horse owners who will be bringing their animals here have obvious reasons to be excited with all this center offers them. But for some horse owners who might never even bring their animals here, the Equine Center has a lot of reasons for them to be excited too. What this facility represents is the commitment that the University of Minnesota is showing towards the horse programs. It really recognizes the growing importance of the horse in the state of Minnesota. Dr. Stephanie Wahlberg says the new equine center will train the future generation of Minnesota's horse veterinarians. Before they graduate and start treating animals, those students will be surrounded by some of the world's top horse experts who are coming to the U of M in part because of the new facility. And the veterinarians that will graduate from the University of Minnesota will have some of the top training in horses that you'll find anywhere in the country. Wahlberg says half of the $14 million equine center was paid for through private donations, another reason why Minnesotans can be proud of a new research facility that serves the U of M and the state. That puts us on track to be one of the top three research universities in the world and to have one of the top equine programs in the country. For the University of Minnesota, I'm Justin Ware.